Hi y'all, I hope everybody's doing good today. So today we're looking at, um, Council Tool has done a design change for the uh, Hudson Bay axis. So um, several of our companies are doing different design tweaks. So let's look at the difference real quick here. The old designs, um, this comes in two different length handles. As you can see, the old design is more of what I would consider a classic Hudson Bay style axe. Um, some of Council Tool's designers actually went back and did some research and actually discovered that the Hudson Bay was actually more closely designed to this look originally. But um, in our modern age, I would call this, you know, this is what most people would think of as a Hudson Bay design. We have some, several companies that make Hudson Bay. Snow and Ely makes a great Hudson Bay axe. So if you're looking for that classic design, um, you can head over to Snow and Ely, um, made in the USA as well. Th let's take a look at some of the differences here. Um, we do have some of each of the old style in stock while they last. If you want that, um, it's a good opportunity to get that before they're gone forever. Or, I mean, unless they bring them back someday, you never know. Um, so we'll take it the small, we'll look at the small one real quick here and check out some of the different changes. So as you can see, it, the quite different. This is more of a camp axe than a traditional Hudson Bay. Um, it, the head weight surprisingly is supposed to be the same. So when I weighed the entire axe, handle and all, this one was like 0.10 of a pound heavier. Basically the same weight though with the handle and everything. So it's a little, um, the looks a little deceiving because this one's drawn out so much. The steel is actually very close to the same weight. So, of course, the obvious look here, just looking, this ax is the old design, had almost a seven inch from pole to the blade, where the new design is only six inches, so it's a full inch shorter. And what they were thinking with that design change is it's more evenly balanced. So for like one hand swinging, it's not gonna bounce around as much on you. Um, I have not heard a lot of complaints about people having trouble with this. Um, I've heard great reviews out of the old design, but that would be nice. Um, of course, a smaller hatchet type, you're going to be using it with one hand quite a bit. Um, so that's the obvious. The pole is thicker where the eye goes through here. And they said that was to help the handle placement not wiggle it loose and loosen up over time, which um, if that really works, that's great. Um, nobody ever wants to have to replace the handle. Although if you use it, you're going to have to eventually. Um, one of my favorite things about the new one is they hardened the pole on it. So you can use that as a uh, drive-in tent pegs or whatever you want. I love axes with hammered poles and Council Tool is doing that on a lot of their axes. And I, uh, that's great. Um, I applaud them on that. A lot of companies should do that. So, We'll take some of the measurements here. So the old one had a 17 and a half inch handle and the new one is like at an 18 inch handle. And so it's half an inch longer handle. Very similar though overall. Um, I will say this, some of the measurements on the handles on our website for a lot of the Axe companies will be about a half inch shorter because when they measure the handle, it's before they put the head on and then they'll cut off the top after they get the head placed on so that they just cut it a little off, making it about a half inch shorter. So on these videos, we try to get you the actual real length of the handle. Um, let's get the cutting face here and see if we can get the difference in that. So that is, I don't know, four and a third inches. And that's going to be under four inches. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Put this one over this one. You got, it, it's little, little thinner cutting face on the new one. Um, so let's move up to the big ones. I think I got the overall design change differences there. Okay, so we'll look at the measurements on the handle length and the, they are no longer the old one. I think it was a 28 inch handle, which is closer to 26 and a quarter inches. And they are now downsizing the handle length to, I think it's a 24 but on Council Tools description, that would probably say a 24, but it's really a 23 um, because of like I, measured, I mentioned, they um, cut off the top, so it's not exactly the right length. Um, so I think I, yeah, I went over pretty much the basics there. 
it's um if you have any questions leave a comment or ask us if you want to have a video on some of the differences and any other axis we have um it gets confusing sometimes um especially when they make design changes um it's hard for me to keep track of what's going on uh, i had to do some research here and figure out uh, i think that's about it um i appreciate it god bless thank you for watching and check out our website wisemantrading.com we've got a lot of cool stuff for the outdoors there hope everybody's staying cool it's getting really hot here in alabama and drying up we had a really wet spring and early summer we really appreciate it